Check 6 News with Mark Jan Brem. Good evening. As a rock band from Victoria helps make legal history, albums by the local group called Dayglow Abortions have been seized by police in Ontario, and obscenity charges under the criminal code have been laid against the recording company and against a record distributor from Toronto, but no charges have been laid against the band. This is the first case of its kind in the country, so no doubt it will set legal precedent. There's also no doubt about the fact that it will help boost album sales. Harry Monu has the story. We are here! Here for They describe themselves as a satirical band that uses strong language to parody modern society. Too strong, according to Ontario police, who've seized hundreds of copies of the Victoria Band's albums, entitled Here Today, Guano Tomorrow, and Fetus a Fetus. They've laid charges of obscenity against the recording company and the record distributor. The band, Deglo Abortions, has not been charged. The type of record that I would go out and buy, um it, it bothered me that it's available simply in, the, in a record store. I'm looking at this one, kill Johnny Stiff, do it now, kick him in the head, stamp him in the ground, kill Johnny Stiff, wreck his life. You, you don't play this one? No, it, it has a couple of uh, blatant obscenities in it. You know, I feel that, you know, a lot of my stories, I, you know, I will admit, they do tend to have a bit of a black streak in them, all of them do. Uh, I usually tend to laugh at the worst parts of society and the likes of that and poke fun at either end of the spectrum. Guitarist Murray Acton writes most of the band's songs. I suppose obscenities occur all the time, and obscenity is, not, is something that is defined by the laws, not something that's defined by a person's morals, really, and... Uh, they seem to be rewriting the laws daily, and I guess maybe they're possibly a little vague on what's obscene. I, uh, I think uh, people being brutally murdered on TV is reasonably obscene. Uh, I don't really understand how to take it, you know. The only local station that will air Dayglow Abortion's music can be found at the University of Victoria. $35 fine for skating in public. You're busted! Screw you, mister! Dago Abortions produced one other album. It was financed by a backer who was looking for a tax write-off. He asked the band to make an album that was sure not to sell. The idea backfired, and as they say in showbiz, the rest is history. Oh, geez, I'm willing to take a stand, really, when it gets down to it. I'm... Quote, quote, an artist, possibly, but some people would disagree with that. Uh, and, you know, I think I should be able to say, paint, sing, draw, paint myself blue and run naked out of the hills in the name of art if I want to, really. It's just an expression. And, sure, don't let your kids come and watch me. That's your own right. But uh, I'm not going to hurt them. 